scorpions, the predatory arachnids found in everyday nature. We would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to a voyage that will take you into the fascinating world of scorpions, the mysterious arachnids that have captivated and terrified humanity for millennia. In the course of this investigation, we will delve into the complexities of scorpion biology, behavior, ecology, reproduction, and the distinctive adaptations that have allowed them to flourish in a wide variety of habitats all over the world. Scorpions are classified as members of the class Arachnida and are distinguished by their unusual appearance. They have a segmented body that is separated into two primary parts, the cephalothorax, head and thorax, and the abdomen, opisthosoma. In addition to having eight legs, they have a pair of pincers, pedipalps, that are used for defense and for collecting prey, and they have a poisonous stinger that is positioned at the end of their tail. The ability of scorpions to immobilize and subjugate their victims through the application of their venom is one of the most outstanding characteristics of these arthropods. The venom is administered to the victim by means of the stinger, and it is comprised of a complex cocktail of neurotoxins and enzymes that cause disruptions to the neurological system as well as the digestive processes of the prey. Scorpions are equipped with sensory organs known as pectins, which are situated on the underside of their abdomen. These pectins allow them to perceive vibrations and chemical cues that are being presented to them by their surroundings. When it comes to locating prey, determining possible mates, and navigating their surroundings, these sensory organs play a critical role. The majority of the time, scorpions are nocturnal predators, meaning that they conduct their hunt for victims during the night. Their strong senses allow them to detect even the smallest movements of possible prey, such as insects, spiders, small vertebrates, and even other scorpions. They display exceptional agility and stealth, having the ability to detect even the smallest motions of potential prey. Their method of hunting mainly consists of following their target, using their pincers to seize and paralyze it, and then delivering a swift and accurate sting with their tail in order to inject venom into it. Whenever the prey is brought under control, the scorpion will make use of its chalicery, which are its mouth parts, to rip apart the exoskeleton of the prey and ingested soft tissues. A wide range of defensive actions are displayed by scorpions, in addition to their hunting activity, in order to defend themselves from predators and other potential dangers. When they feel threatened, they may adopt a protective posture by raising their pincers and tail, emitting warning vibrations with their pedipalps, or even releasing venom as a means of warding off any danger. Mating is the first step in the life cycle of a scorpion, which normally takes place during the warmer months of the year when conditions are more ideal for reproduction. In order to attract female scorpions, male scorpions engage in a ritualized dance that culminates in mating. They do this by using a combination of pheromones and shown wooing behaviors. The process by which the female scorpion carries fertilized eggs inside her body until they hatch into live young is referred to as viviparity. This occurs after the female scorpion has mated. Depending on the species, the number of children that are generated can range anywhere from a few to hundreds. Some species are capable of producing only a few offspring, while others can have dozen or even hundreds of offspring. After the young have been born, they will clamber onto their mother's back, where they will remain for a length of time until they go through their first molt and become independent. During this period of vulnerability, the mother scorpion provides her young with protection and care, shielding them from potential dangers and supporting them in locating sources of sustenance. During the course of their growth and development, young scorpions go through a series of molts, which means they lose their exoskeletons in order to accommodate their growing size. They continue the cycle of reproduction and ensure the survival of their species by becoming more skilled hunters with each molt. Additionally, they finally attain sexual maturity, which allows them to continue the cycle of reproduction. Scorpions are extremely versatile organisms that are able to survive in a broad variety of settings, ranging from grasslands and deserts to caves and woods. They are able to live in these different habitats thanks to the physiological and behavioral adaptations that they have developed throughout time. These adaptations include the ability to tolerate severe temperatures, low humidity, and limited food resources. The fact that they are able to burrow into the ground and conceal themselves in cracks and crevices affords them safety from potential predators as well as shelter from detrimental environmental conditions. Some species have developed characteristics that allow them to thrive in arid conditions. 
These characteristics include thick exoskeletons and water conservation mechanisms that are highly effective, which enable them to survive in areas where there is a limited supply of water. As both predators and prey, scorpions play an important part in the ecosystems in which they are found. They contribute to the control of insect populations and provide a source of food for a wide range of vertebrate predators, such as birds, mammals, and reptiles. Because of their presence, the structure and dynamics of food webs are altered, which in turn contributes to the general equilibrium of biodiversity in the environments in which they live. Even though scorpions have exceptional adaptations and are important to the environment, they are threatened with extinction by a number of factors, such as the destruction of their habitat, the effects of climate change, pollution, and the persecution of humans. The destruction and fragmentation of their natural habitats has been brought about by deforestation, urbanization, and agricultural development, which has led to a reduction in the amount of habitat and food supplies that are accessible to them. As a result of climate change, scorpions face extra obstacles, including changes in temperature and precipitation patterns, as well as disruptions to their reproductive cycles and behavior. It is also possible for drought conditions to be made worse by rising temperatures and unexpected weather occurrences, which can result in higher mortality and decreased reproductive success among scorpion populations during drought conditions. Constant efforts are being made to protect and preserve scorpions and the environments in which they live. These efforts include the creation of protected areas, the implementation of habitat restoration programs, and the dissemination of information to the general public. Through the dissemination of information regarding the significance of scorpions and the promotion of environmentally responsible land management methods, we may contribute to the preservation of these fascinating creatures and the habitats that they inhabit for the long term. Scorpions are depicted as symbols of strength, perseverance, and protection in many communities around the world. This is because scorpions hold cultural significance in many of these societies. As a result of their association with myths, tales, and folklore in certain cultures, scorpions can be seen as carrying either positive or negative connotations, depending on the circumstances. Ancient Egyptian mythology connected the scorpion to the goddess circuit who was frequently represented as a lady with a scorpion on her head. The scorpion was also related with the scorpion. Scorpions were also regarded as symbols of protection and guardianship. Amulets and talismans with scorpion designs were worn for the purpose of warding off evil spirits and bringing good fortune to the wearer. As emblems of danger, death, and malevolence, scorpions are regarded with a great deal of apprehension and vilification in other civilizations. They are known to be creatures that should be avoided and revered due to their nocturnal habits and deadly stings, which have led to their reputation as creatures that inspire awe and veneration among people who come into contact with them in the wild. In conclusion, scorpions are wonderful organisms that have developed a remarkable variety of adaptations in order to survive and prosper in a wide variety of habitats all over the world. As a result of their one-of-a-kind biological characteristics, behavioral patterns, and ecological functions. They play an essential part in preserving the equilibrium of ecosystems and making a contribution to the abundance of biodiversity that exists on our planet. We can work together to preserve and safeguard these interesting creatures for the enjoyment of future generations if we have an awareness of and appreciation for the complexities of the biology and ecology of scorpions. Join us in commemorating the timeless legacy of scorpions and the indispensable role they play in maintaining the delicate balance of ecosystems worldwide. Together, let us forge a path towards a future where humans and scorpions coexist in harmony, preserving their habitats and safeguarding biodiversity for generations to come. Please subscribe, like, and share this message to raise awareness and support conservation efforts for scorpions and their habitats. Take action today to protect these remarkable creatures and the ecosystems they inhabit. Together, we can make a difference for scorpions and the planet.